This is China Connor, and we are here again with another Wi-Fi battle video. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, and please subscribe. I've gotten a ton of subscribers lately. I hope you all enjoy my content. Not saying I'm bragging or anything, but you know, it's nice to have that many subscribers. We have a very fun match today versus my friend Jonah on my 3DS. He wanted to challenge me to a battle. Here I have just a random assortment of Pokemon using Mega Aerodactyl. I go with Earthquake. I knew he was going to probably go with Toxic Spikes or Knock Off. I didn't want to get rid of my choice specs from my Siberium, the Bahiam from earlier. So we go into my Aerodactyl, revealing that I have a Mega Stone and not getting rid of it. So I knew he might want to switch out not wanting to take an earthquake. That's kind of why I went for that stone edge there, and that worked out pretty well. I go back into Siberium. Siberium is actually really fun, because I used him in black and white. He's been very useful, of course. This is the old school choice best Bahiam that I have here. It's really powerful. It has the ability and that'll kick. So anything that comes in is going to take a very strong move. I could have gone for a Psychic right there, and I should have, but still, that Analytic boosted Energy Ball that was going to hit the Gastrodong originally, it's going to hit the Scotland, and it actually does a, a fair chunk. It almost KOs it, so I'm very happy about that. I go back into Mega Aerodactyl to dodge the Retaliate or the Crunch that he might have. Now, despite him having and killing me on that Stoutland, it's a two hit KO with that aerial is hitting the Gastrodon here. I didn't know this one was going to KO it, but fortunately, we do KO it, and that's fantastic. Unfortunately, yes, he has hit Monchang. I could have gone for another aerial ace, but those hit Monchang's side face are either going to go with a mock punch or fake out. So we go into Siberium hoping to hit this thing with a psychic, but we do not. Alas, he does not finish the job and that means that we can just have someone else take care of it. I have a choice here. I could go with a rapid spin or I could hit him with a earthquake. I chose to go with a rapid spin simply because the layer of toxic spikes that the Drapion set up earlier in the game, it's going to rack up damage over time. So my best play here was to go with rapid spin in exchange for losing my extra drill. I don't know if that's good or not, but we do it nevertheless. I go into Brutus here, and Brutus is very strong. It has the Sheer Force ability. It's going to be doing a ton of damage to whoever he's going to hit. And we do hit the Chatot, and Chatot are not very useful in battles, unfortunately, I have to say. So we take him out with two attacks. Fantastic. Now, Jonah's Pokemon that is going to go Mega is going to be Lopunny. And Lop Honeys have Fake Out, I know that, because I have a set that has Fake Out. So we go into Mega Aerodactyl here to dodge it, basically. It does a good amount, though. I am surprised. He goes back into Stoutland for Death Fogger, but really, I don't care. I'm going to go with another Aerial Ace to finish the job with Stoutland. So goodbye, Stoutland. You did your best, but... My Aerodactyl is pretty strong. I do not have anything that would want to take a Mock Punch, per se. Granted, I do have my Magmortar, but I want to save it for right here, because I have a Focus Sash on it. I go with a Flamethrower, and you see just how bulky this thing is when it's Max Special Defense, the Hitmonchan. And... Uh, he has Drain Punch too, so he gets to recover all that HP. But the situation I want to put him in was to have less HP that he gets back from going for Drain Punch. So you see right there, that's a good example of what I'm saying here. He has less HP that he got back from going for another Drain Punch there. But this will allow me to go back into Brugus go with a waterfall and KO him because I know he might not have 
good physical defense. So we finish him off, but that means that he still has ankles. His mega weapon is going to fake out right here. I can't stop that from happening. So we'll stay in here, take that for the for the team here, and we go with Waterfall. Waterfall is almost a one-hit KO. Great job. That means that my last Pokemon, Tyson, yeah, Tyson, the Heroisk, who's actually choice specs in this battle, we're gonna go with a Volt Switch to finish the match right here off. Alright, so that's the end of that great battle. Thank you, Jonah, for that match. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Alright, bye-bye.